Welcome to the NFL Scouting Combine. The Combine's a great opportunity for us to be around these young players. Face-to-face, -face, in person. Finding the right chemistry and fit. We learn a ton of new things. Everybody saying, my team could use that guy. It's a sliver of the process. All right, um, excited to be here in Indianapolis. We always get really excited about the Combine because it's really our first look uh, with the upcoming draft class. And it really gives us our first uh, you know, interpersonal touch point where we get to spend a little bit more time with them, a little bit more extended time with them. It's really, honestly, like a 12, 13, 14 month process for us to really dig into to these players and get to know who they are. It's kind of the unofficial start to the season. Everybody is about to win the Super Bowl. Everybody's here figuring out who their next players are going to be. As you look at the roster juxtaposed to what is in Kansas City and Cincinnati and Buffalo, what do you see? How close is it? I think they need some more dynamic players up front on defense, you know, just to add with Miles. But I think once you do that, yeah, I mean, you can go, you know, with their top, if you want to look at kind of that blue chip group of their top eight guys and put them up with everybody else in the AFC, I think they stack up quite well. So being at the Combine here, we really get to obviously put eyes on the prospects, but really gather more information as we continue to evaluate them from multiple lenses, whether that's the medical aspect of things, whether that's through interviews, obviously on the field, athleticism, all that stuff. So being very relentless in, in gathering that information. What is Catherine brought and why was she someone you wanted to add to the organization? Yeah, uh, quite honestly, Catherine's one of the most talented um, front office executives I've ever had the pleasure of working with. There's literally nothing that she cannot do. Um, she can evaluate, she can manage, she can lead. She's really strong in contract management, super smart, super strategic. Um, so honestly, like, looked at it as an opportunity just to add, you know, who I view as like a rock star, you know, within the front office. And let's just, we gotta get a, give a background. Yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell people of your journey. I mean, from the CFL, obviously from Montreal, mm -hmm. spent time with the Eagles and now here. Kind of just walk people through your path and, and what sparked in you that you wanted to pursue this line of work. We were a football family. That's who we were. We loved the, the CFL. Alouettes. There you go. Yeah. The Alouettes. Um, grew up huge fan of the CFL. Um, so I got my first opportunity with them. I was a lawyer at the time, um, was practicing corporate law, and um, I just wanted to get into football. Like I knew this is what I wanted to do. I just didn't know what and how. When I quit my law practice to take an entry-level position um, with the Alouettes, Everyone but my close family and friends probably thought I was insane and crazy. So I had my first shot with Jim Pop when he was the GM at the time. Um, then um, went to the Argos, uh, also in the CFL, where Jim was the general manager at the time there as well. That's where I got to meet Mark Tressman. My family was always very supportive. Um, the the know me really well they know when I have something in my head I mean I won't stop till I reach it so so they knew I had a plan they knew there was something behind all this Mark gave me my first opportunity with uh, the XFL so got an opportunity there really brief six months and then Howie Roseman called and offered me an entry-level position and that's where Andrew Berry was my direct supervisor you you realize quickly like um how smart she is, how much she loves football. She loved helping us kind of develop plans for the team, you know, and, and working in areas that are really important to what a GM does. So like any business you're looking for, you're looking for people who are really smart and hardworking. And um, I mean, there's a reason that, you know, Andrew took her from us. <laughs> That's where Andrew and I met and built a really good relationship. And then when this opportunity came with the Browns, I was like, hey, this is, this is amazing, full circle, and I get to work with him again. We compete as hard as possible for talent on the field. Um, why wouldn't we really do the same for coaches, football operations, player personnel, and scouting? For us, um, you know, there are many talented women who have been a part of this forum over the last number of years and, and really just need an opportunity. And you know, for us, it was like, okay, well, that, that seems pretty straightforward. I mean, we want to fire talented individuals, and God knows I need the help. So like, you know, why, why, wouldn't, we, why wouldn't we do this? 
having people like Andrew, Howie, who see past who you are, like they talk about diversity and inclusion all the time, but it's diversity of thoughts and experience. I've heard a lot throughout my career in football, like we are doing this because we've always done it this way. You know, that's one thing I think we are completely moving away from because it's about creativity, it's about new ideas. And when you do have people with diverse backgrounds and skill sets, that's when the new ideas um, come from. All the little things of managing people, I just think she excels at all of them. Obviously brings a different viewpoint uh, to our group, which I think is so important. I'd love to be a general manager one day. I've always liked to set goals for my career, but really it's more about like what I'm doing currently and I like to be in the present. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Do you write footballs for women too? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank Under you. here? Yes, please. Okay. My sister's gonna be pumped. Particularly having such a male dominant field like football, to have a woman like Catherine is an inspiration. I want to be 100% at work and give, give him my all, um, but now I'm a mother as well. And I want to be able to be there for my son. And, and, be, and I just don't think as women in the industry, we have to choose. I do think we, we should be able to do both. I've heard so many young women over the years tell me like, hey, whenever it's time to have kids, I may, I may have to step away. Like, I don't know if I can make this work. And if, if I can help and show that it's possible, then to me, that's a big win. Go on. <laughs> he can't me pick it up. <laughs> no, we don't keep the passy. Passy for sleep. So we have a special guest. <laughs> Xavier Ray Hickman. He is turning seven months old tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's definitely been a great first year here for me in Cleveland. Combine was the longest I've been away from him. But I think it's all about the support system that I have, both at the rounds and who I have at home here with Justin, just making sure that I can lean on them. Yeah, you want to answer too? Just making sure I can lean on them and, and that's been really helpful in making this easy because it's the first of many. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of scheduling, especially for events like that, that we both have to attend, Senior Bowl, Combine. You know, we love him, but we also we have, we have, we have jobs to do, and you know, we have the ability and the, the means to be able to, to make it work, as long as we work together, and I think we do a good job of that, and hopefully we can, we can continue to do that for his sake. I imagine growing up, you know, growing up in Cleveland, he's going to be around here barking. I would, <laughs> I would imagine that, which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. It's definitely inspiring. You know, she's a, you know, I guess you could call it a, you know, a trendsetter. And I know I've heard people say, you know, you know, their daughters look up to her. And she's definitely doing something special in this league. And I'm happy to be, you know, be by her side and in support to, you know, wherever, wherever she goes, whatever she wants to do, I'm here to help her accomplish it. She's going to be a general manager in the NFL. Uh, that's what she's capable of. I know that's where sh she will be. I don't, it's not a question in my mind. Um, and the impact that that will have on our game, I, I don't think you can measure. And I want young women and, and young girls to see someone like Kat and have a role model of how it can, it's real. It can happen for you. As he grows, I hope he gets to see me as a strong, hardworking mom. I think for the women, just the women in sports in general. I think like, I, I hope that people continue to work in, in, towards their goals and realize that there is no boundaries. Like we are breaking those. Being in a sport that is to me the ultimate team sport where everything matters, everyone's contribution matters to winning. And when I look at the Browns and where I look at this organization and how we all work collaboratively, and we all work together towards the same goal of winning. It gives me like, honestly, it gives me chills. I'm, I'm excited for the future of this team and where we're heading.